Hey folks, how you doing? It's uh, it's Wednesday night. It's June third. Just finished packing up for Kentucky Lake. Um, be hitting the road tomorrow night. Driving, driving a little bit. Drive the rest of the way on Friday. You know, the last three months been a lot of driving, a lot of mileage, but it's been fun. And uh, I, you know, everyone's asking me, are you having fun? Are you having a good time? I'm really, really having a good time, and uh, I'm really looking forward to you know the next few events. The opportunity to make the championship and and the opportunity to do it again next year so it's uh, it's been fantastic so um what's next kentucky lake and uh i gotta tell you the last few weeks i've been you know i've been so excited and uh, at the same time concerned about this tournament i look at where i am in the standings i'm a couple spots out of the championship um so i'm gonna need a good finish here at kentucky lake followed up by uh, another Back to back good finish at uh, Champlain in order to secure that spot in the championship. So, uh, Kentucky Lake is actually, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's known as one of the best ledge fishing lakes uh, in the U.S. And, uh, you know, there's lots of information on ledge fishing, lots of information on Kentucky Lake online. In fact, uh, you know, us Canadians up here, we get concerned about uh, pressure on our lakes. And, if you look at something like Kentucky Lake, we have zero pressure. Uh, just going back over the last week, um, last Wednesday, Thursday, there was a 175 boat tournament out of, uh, out of one of the resorts on Kentucky Lake. Um, so two days, 175 boats. That tournament was won with uh, 46 pounds, I believe. Uh, that was Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there was a 375 boat tournament out there. Again, two-day tournament won by the same guy. He weighed in 48 pounds for two days. So just phenomenal, phenomenal fishing. Um, move forward a couple days later. Today uh, was day one of the uh, Bassmaster Elite Series. And, I mean, these guys are just awesome. Uh, 98 guys. There was so 31 bags over 20 pounds. I believe there was six bags over 25 and uh, Bobby Lane, I believe Bobby Lane, is leading with um, 29 pounds, 14 ounces. Almost a six pound average, just incredible weights. And of course, Kevin Van Dam is the second with uh, 28 and change, so amazing, amazing weights. I'm looking forward to getting out there, looking forward to learning a little bit about this ledge fishing deal. Uh, like I said, the information is very, it's all out there. It's all about, uh, you know, finding the good ledges, where there's a bit of structure to hold fish, either a creek mouth or, or a, a bit of a shelf, some stumps, rocks, whatever you have. And uh, the techniques are pretty simple, deep diving crankbait. You know, something we don't do up here, well, I don't do up here in Canada. Uh, so it's a bit of a learning curve, but I've stocked up on my, my Strike King Series 5s and 6s, my um, Fat Free Shads, some DD-22s. So, you know, I, I've got the, got the, the key baits. Um, and the, the follow-up after, you know, after you comb through the area with the crankbait, it's going to be the big worm. Um, I've got a good supply of Berkeley Power Worms, 10-inch, black, red shad, um, and of course, big football jigs, half-ounce and three-quarter ounce football jigs. Uh, once the, uh, that bite slows down, they say once you get on a school, you can, the, the whack the crankbait, once that bite slows down, you can comb through with the jig and pick up a few more fish. Uh, and same thing with the worms. So, you know, I'm looking forward to putting all this into play and uh, and seeing it just how it unfolds. So we've got uh, 80 miles of Kentucky Lake, 60 miles of Barkley Lake, and four days to figure something out. Pretty pumped. Looking forward to getting out there. Uh, I guess we'll have another blog on Saturday night after after my first day of practice. Um, I may go see the day four Bassmaster weigh-in. Um, our first day of practice is actually the last day of the Bassmaster Elite Series, so their top 12 will be on the water. So that would be pretty neat. I'm trying to stay out of their way. And, um, and then we got four days to figure something out. That wraps up for tonight. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.